Right, so I'm with Kirsty. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, nice to you. <laughs> nice to be in your home here. Now, I got very excited last week because we were, we were at a drinks event in Abbots Langley, and you, you, you're running a thing called the, the, the Chockey Drop. I don't know whether you can see that one here, but anyway, this is called the Chockey Drop. Um, and it's all about, well, it's kids' parties, Hindus, all that kind of, yeah. getting people together, Chocolate team building. Parties, yeah, for adults and children, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so here we are. We've got, we've got your machine here. Now, what happens with this machine then? Um, so this is a tempering machine. Right. The machine I use. Um, so it's filled with chocolate. Okay. Um, and I bring all that chocolate up to 45 degrees. So this heat, this machine heats it up nice and slowly. Yeah. Usually it takes about 24 hours to heat it all up. Um, so when it's at 45 degrees, then I temper it. So I bring it back down to between 30 and 31 degrees for milk yeah. chocolate. And I do that by um, lots of stirring and adding more chocolate in. And that means that the chocolate's nicely tempered. It's got a nice snap to it. Yeah. Um, and it looks nice and shiny. So if you didn't do that, it would just look a bit... It's got like Rubbish. a sort of white plume on it. It doesn't look great. It tastes all right. You can still eat it, but it doesn't look great. So, so tell me what goes on at these pies. Because I can see here we've, we've got some... What are these things? Are these like uh, little... So they're little hollow chocolate spheres. Right, OK. So they've got little holes in the top. Yeah. So for the adult parties... We start off by filling those with caramel. Yep. And then some people like salted caramel, so we can sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. So, and then we take some of the chocolate, put it in a piping bag, and cap that off. So we've got little truffles there that are salted caramel. And I presume they can take those away. But yep. don't, don't the kids just want to like grab this chocolate? I mean, I, 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 <laughs> it, it must, it isn't just having a big yeah. <laughs> bowl of chocolate just a bit too tempting. Well, it is, but they are usually very good then yeah. you know people know not to lick their fingers and dip it in and so you know sometimes you do have to be a bit <laughs> saving people off but, <laughs> but on the whole they are pretty good actually. so what's an ideal size party um six to eight but i can do more yeah I have two of these tanks okay so you know six around the tank is Nice, but you can and you got you got a picture here. I'll, I'll show you. Please. There's a picture here of yeah. of some kids. You got two, four. You got five there. Is that you there? Is there yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. yeah. So there's six. There was six, I think. But yeah, you can't see them. So all dipping in. So they look like they're having a load of fun anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. So once we've done the um, the caramels, then we do lollies, and it varies by age as to how we do those. So some. Um, that adults get to pipe their own shape. Yeah. Uh, children do it. Um, we sort of splodge out a circle and then they decorate that. So, um, and then once we've done that, then we dip sweets like fudge, coconut. Like, this, fudge, like these things here, yeah. A few, a few there. Um, so they get thrown into the tank. Fish them out. Fished out basically, and then set on their side to um, to, to set, and they can decorate them with all sorts of sprinkles for the lollies and the chocolates. And then, then they wrap them up and take them home when they're set, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, so this time of year, is it is like chocolate, like parties yeah. coming up to Christmas, is it big or is yeah. it seasonal in any way? It is a little bit seasonal. At the moment, I'm doing more Christmas fairs. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, the school Christmas fairs and the church one. and um, So that's quite busy. That makes it quite busy because there's all the chocolates to prepare in advance to sell. Um, but um, but yeah, it's 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 seasonal. Hen parties are popular, so sort of May June time. That's quite busy with hen parties. Yeah. Kids parties, you know, all year round. It's just quiet in the summer because people want to do more outdoor stuff. And actually, the sun does not and the chocolate, chocolate does doesn't go together. together. So it works works quite well. Really. So you, you so people can just call you up or they can go on your website. Absolutely, yeah. The chalky drop dot. .uk. I'll put a link up when I put this up. But uh, fabulous. Thanks for doing this. I know you're a bit nervous, but it wasn't as bad as it sounded, was it? Okay. Lovely to meet you. Right, thanks very much. This will go up on YouTube and you'll be able to use it uh, on your website or whatever. All right.